Uh, tonight, authorities fear a new strain of coronavirus that causes COVID-19 is already spreading throughout the Southland. That's right. The first infected Californian lives in San Diego County, but he says he has yet to travel, which means whoever brought it is still spreading it here. KCAL Live's Leslie Marine begins our in-depth coverage. It's able to bind to the receptors on cells better and therefore is transmitted better. Dr. Anthony Fauci speaking with Governor Newsom, saying the new strain can spread 70% faster than the first, but... There's no indication at all that it increases the virulence, and by virulence I mean the ability to make you sick or kill you. The news comes at a time when Southern California hospitals have taken the first steps towards rationing care. County leaders say hospitals are running out of room to store bodies. If needed, a dozen 50-foot trailers are parked behind the county morgue. They can hold 1,500 bodies. The National Guard is now coming in to help the coroner. Most heartbreaking is that if we had done a better job reducing transmission of the virus, many of these deaths would not have happened. And the number of deaths is quickly growing. In L.A. County, 10,056 people have now died of COVID-19. And health officials say one person dies from COVID-19 on average every 10 minutes. It's really exhausting. It's not just going to work and being physically tired. Um, it's really difficult to see the nurses around you struggling. Nurses like Laura Wheatley are working around the clock to keep up with the demand in patients. Wheatley works at St. Mary Medical Center in Long Beach, where she says staff is so short they have no choice but to treat both COVID and non-COVID patients at the same time. I mean, you treat the cardiac arrest who's COVID negative the same way you treat the ventilated patient who's COVID positive. And one nurse will have both of those patients in one assignment. The fear healthcare workers could be spreading COVID-19 to the people they are trying to help. But could some more help be on the way? Today, LA County Supervisor Janice Hahn reached out to the governor demanding the USNS Mercy return to LA. And when I heard words like rationing care and triaging care in our hospitals, I knew we were at a point that um, was was bad. If the Mercy were to return back to L.A. County, it would not be able to take in COVID patients, but with a thousand beds and more medical staff, it would help our hospital staff here. Reporting in Long Beach, Leslie Marine, KCAL 9 News.